Minecraft kids, today we're going to be drawing... C from Alphabet Lore. <laughs> um, we have drawn A and B already. Check those out if you haven't. Stay tuned as we, over the, probably take us quite a few weeks, but uh, stay tuned because we're going to do more. We're going to do them all at some point. Oh yeah. And it's uh, it's been a tremendous amount of fun so far. Hopefully we have the same amount of fun today we do C, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, One two, two, C! C. Alright. C! <laughs> okay, we're going to start by doing the eyeballs. Okay, just like on the other letters from Alphabet Lore, the eyeballs need to be drawn first because they're out in front of everything. So what I want you to do, Lynn, is I want you to start with a nice wide V shape. Not a deep V, but a wide V. Watch here before you draw. Nice wide V. Just like that. Nice wide V. Good. Good stuff. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw... They're technically parallelograms, okay? Yeah. We might, some people might call it, say, oh, those are rectangles, but they're technically parallelograms. So let me show you what they're going to look like before you draw, okay? We're going to try to do some rounded corners on them, okay? So, rounded corner, come straight down. Can you do that for me? Rounded corner, come straight down. So, for the next part of the eyeball, you're going to do a rounded corner, and then it's going to follow the same angle as the top. Good. That's good. Then we're going to round it off and go straight up to the middle of the V. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think yours is great. Okay? Mine's not perfect. Yours isn't perfect. Is it okay to not be perfect? Yeah, because yeah. we're just shooting for fun. That's right. We just like fun. All right. We're going to do the same thing with the other one. So around the corner, come straight down. And you want to come down just about as far as your last one. So that's good. And then you're going to come up and meet that one with a rounded corner as well. Cool. I think these are going to come out awesome. Now we're going to put our, we're going to put our uh, eyelids in. Mm -hmm. And it's got eyelids on the top and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a line straight across. Another line straight across. And the whites of he's he seems like he's kind of squinting or maybe he's a little upset. So you can't see much of the whites of his eyes. So the bottom is going to be just about the same. All right. And then what you can see are the black parts of his pupils. And as always with alphabet lore, at least so far, every set of eyes we've done has a rec the center of them is rectangular and black, but with rounded corners, of course. Okay, you can't see a whole lot of the eye. So you do that on both sides, color them in, and we now have our eyes for letter C. I think yours are going to be awesome, Linda, because here's why, I, here's why I say that, right? We've seen the alphabet lore video yeah. a bunch of times, right? And in that video, the, the characters aren't always making the same faces. They're not always, like sometimes their eyes are wider open than other times. And just like for yours, see, he's got his eyes a little bit more wide open. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make a C in behind these eyeballs. But we're not going to make a, like a traditional like letter C where it's kind of like short, if you will. Like we're going to make a long letter C. And let me show you what I mean by that, okay? It's almost like we're drawing an oval, but we're just stopping down here, okay? I'll show you if that sounds confusing. So we're going to come way out like that. Awesome. That's perfect. And then... I shouldn't use the term perfect because no drawing's perfect, but it's that's really good. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna imagine this line goes through the eyes, comes out the bottom, and rounds all the way over to here. I need to update my marker. I thought I grabbed you one of It looked really good at, and it was working really good at first, and then it stopped working really good. So I'll go over that later with my marker. But now we're gonna do the inside part of the C which is going to still be a long, obviously it's going to be a long C, and we're going to kind of mimic the top edge and the bottom edge, and it's going to run right into our eyeballs, okay? Let's do the bottom one first. It's going to come from right about here, and it's gonna, you're going to try to stay the same distance away, and you're going to end up doing something like that. Good job. Okay, now what we can do is we can go for the top part. So we're imagining that that... Uh, that C is hooking through here, and this one's gonna come right out of this the top of this eyebrow for me, or this eyelid for me. You didn't want to wait for me, huh, bud? Okay. So 
this one is going to come over like this. They're both going to connect. All right. Now, only one step left besides coloring, which is the teeth. So the teeth, we're going to do a another line that's going to mimic this inside edge, and it's going to stop like right here. Let me show you before you do it. It's going to mimic the edge. It's going to stop right there and it's gonna go up and connect. Sorry. Just have it, I would just have it come right out of here. And then stop and go right up. Good, and then we're gonna make four teeth out of this. Okay, on the bottom we're gonna do something similar. I'm gonna bring that, those teeth out to here and we're gonna do something similar. In this case, we're gonna do three more lines. You're gonna do four lines, because you're gonna stick with what you've been doing. Cool, so we did our C's. Um, all we have to do is thicken in color, and we're, there's like two little things that we're gonna shade on there, but stay tuned for what they look like once we color. One, One two, two, three. three. All right, so there's two shading things that, there's two, just two shading things we wanted to do. And one is a little shaded area down at the very bottom of the sea, just give it, give it a little dimension. Um, we tried using just like an orange over it or like a darker yellow, but it's not appearing the way that we want it to. So we're just gonna take a pencil. We're just gonna go lightly over it and it's gonna give it the same effect. It's just gonna make it look like a darker yellow. Don't press down too hard on the pencil, but yeah, that's that's the right idea. Good job. Okay. I did under the eyes too. Cool. And then we have to do the teeth right. Okay, the only other part that we wanted to shade a little bit was um, inside of his mouth at the very top of the teeth and the very bottom of the teeth. So it's just going to get light gray with the pencil. One, two, three. 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 <laughs> We are having an awesome time doing these letters from Alphabet Lore. Mm -hmm. So they should probably check out our A and B that we've already done. And stay tuned for the rest of the letters that we're going to be working on sure. over the next few weeks, several weeks, I should say. Yeah. Um, we are just having a blast. Yeah. They're so much fun. And we think these came out pretty cool. The coloring is not exact. Uh, the yellow uh, probably should be a little bit more pale and these eyes these, eyelid, these uh, eyelids should be probably a little bit more reddish to them, but we used the colors that we felt were closest. We hope you followed along. We hope you had a good time. So yeah. till next time. Bye. Bye.